Wow, unbelievable, out of this world, electric. In the fourth quarter, I saw Brandon of old in the sense that he wasn't passing the ball. Uh, he was going to take the shot and he was going to live with the result. We shot that went in. I just kept getting more and more confidence. And even the one I missed, guys were like, shoot it again, shoot the next one. Game winning bucket, bank shot, four point play. You know, when I shot it, I, I threw it up, but then I started looking towards the ground to land and I looked up and it went in and I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is going to be one of those finishes, you know, that, that I feel like I might be able to have a good finish. He scored 18 of his game high 24 points in the fourth quarter. With everything this guy has been through this season, dual knee surgeries, his all-star career derailed by injuries, to have this type of performance on this type of stage, this one clearly was special. Roy was swarmed by Patty Mills and Nicholas Batum. They all surrounded him with a bear hug. This place erupted. Andre Miller kind of pumped both of his arms like this and was screaming at the rafters. Batum said he, he whispered into Roy's ear, you the man, you still Brandon Roy, uh, we still believe in you. I just needed to embrace someone, you know, just one of those feelings where, you know, I was just happy to have their support. You know, with everything I've been through this season, it just all kind of came into that moment, you know, right there on the court when guys were just grabbing me and, and uh, just, you know, cheering me on. It was, it was, it was real special. With this incredible performance by Brandon Roy, the incredible fourth quarter comeback, uh, the 84-82 victory over the Mavericks in which the Blazers ended the game with a 15-2 run. Now we set up game five Monday in Dallas and at least one more home game.